Hello everybody and welcome back to Cobra Swamp Home Today we are heading up and not coming down because this time we're gonna stay up in space next to our new friend which is gonna be an asteroid. We're gonna go and visit an asteroid because I haven't visited an asteroid since I started playing this mod which is which has been about a year now. And yeah, I wish there were comets, but I don't think there are comets yet in this mod since Beyond Home is based on KSP 1.10. And I'm playing 1.12.3. Goddamn. So, yeah. Well, we're launching, don't make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any new video launch, which is happening every single Tuesday. So, yeah, we're going high up. Also, you're gonna see that that satellite that I built is has a fucking telescope that can x ray. I have separate x rays. Basically, I have shit ton of jump packed science units because thanks to these uh, new part mods that I installed. Those parts gave me a lot of fucking science units. And right now, I don't even know what the fuck to do with them, so yeah. Booster separation it is. We had like, what, six boosters or something? That gravity turn is an absolute fucking bitch. Because I didn't expect those boosters to burn for that long amount of time. So yeah, also this video is about 5 minutes long, about 6 minutes, so yeah, quick video, it's gonna be a quick video, hopefully, so yeah. Also the first stage was really also that efficient that I had around half a fuel, half fuel, half full fuel tank, there we fucking go, I can fucking talk, half full fuel tank, while I was circularizing, so yeah, shit's fine. And I was like, yeah, why not? Let's do our injection burn towards that uh, asteroid that I was tracking for about, I don't know how fucking long, <laughs> to be honest, because I don't know. So, just, just so quickly, we're gonna say goodbye to the road, and we're never gonna say hello to it, because we're not coming back away from home so yeah that thing took a long time to just get an encounter with it because it's a fucking asteroid a little speck of fucking rock in the entirety huge empty space but yeah at the end, I was like, okay, let's cut a few parts. And I finally, after about how much, two years now of flight, I decided to just de decouple those fairings because I really didn't need that much electricity at the first time. Now I'm setting the action group because. I am a dumb fuck and I forget to do that in the VAB. So yeah, we have our encounter real fast because obviously, as I said, I cut to the part where I tried to maneuver closer and closer and closer and closer to that thing. It was a complete pain. It wasn't that bad, but it still wasn't as easy as getting a gravity encounter. So yeah. And I just might have pushed it with my <laughs> exhaust, so, oops, I guess, that's fine, that's fine, we have everything that we need over here, so, that's what I'm talking about when I say we have a lot of science units, I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what any of these do, but they give me more science, so that's, that's just fine. <laughs> That's just fine, why not? So yeah, also I have uh, RTGs Which basically provided me enough electricity So the craft didn't actually die at all This is like one of the better looking satellites that I've ever met in my entire year of life So appreciate that for a couple of seconds Why not? Why not? That was a slow motion, why not? Okay, whatever 
but yeah, I couldn't actually get samples of the asteroid. There we go. I couldn't actually get samples of the asteroid because I didn't have a drill or anything to it. So that was a complete shame. Also, another dumb fuck thing that I do, did, English, is that I at the lens of the space telescope, there we go, I put a giant pot. It's not giant, but I put a fucking engine. I put an ion engine. And when did I realize that? Right after I actually got the encounter. So yeah. Well, at least we got a lot of science from that. And that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, push that, push button. If you're new, and as always, I hope you stay with Until then, have an awesome week.